right? We're digging a bit of worm for bait, finding lots of these small lugworm, some ragworm. That'll do perfect for catching pollock, brass, anything you can imagine close to the piers underneath the cliffs. I'm sweating, it is roasting. We have a bucket full of worms. That'll keep us going for a while. So we'll give it a go and see if we can catch a few fish. Uh, this, this is our home for the night. Good morning lads, as you can see there, the sun is about to come up in the background and before everyone else, before the harbour, it's nice and busy, all you can hear now is the seagulls going crazy and we camped out last night so everybody's still kind of asleep up there. This place gets pretty busy um, during the day. So as you can see there, the tides after coming in, so I timed it perfectly, I got up at about 5 o'clock here in the morning, got to be fishing with a bit of Log and ragworm, um, just out in front of the harbour, using my LRF gear, trying to pick up some big grass if it's at all possible. There's loads of cork wings here and some big balance. If we can get a big balance this morning, I'd be buzzing. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful morning as you can see there. The sun is just about to come up. It's going to be a hot day again. Stunning little place to fish. So yeah, let's give it a go now and see if we can catch a few fish. So what I'm doing here guys, I'm fishing on a perch fishing setup, so you'll see, I've seen this on the channel. It's literally just a drop shot. There's a 15 gram lead and about a foot up above it, I have my little drop shot hook. It's as simple as that, you don't need much to catch the ass. All I'm doing is putting on a, a fresh lugworm that I dug last night. Put it onto the hook, thread it on because they will take it straight off. They're usually on it pretty quickly. Hungry little guys. And that is it. That's all you need to catch some wrasse. So let's see if we can get a big one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad one. Oh, songfish. Oh. Yeah, it feels like a good one. Yeah, it's a ballon ras. It's a nice size. Oh, I came off just underneath my feet. We'll get a bit more bait on the hook. The big ballon seemed to want a bigger bait. To be fair, they'll probably take anything. But they, uh, they definitely react better to a big worm on the hook. So that's what we'll give them. That lad was nice, he was probably about 35 centimetres. It's hard to tell when they're down in the water, but they're so powerful, it's crazy. So, I'll get this out and see if we can get another one. Balan. Whoa. That's a beauty. Oh guys, here he is. The beautiful balan ras. Look at the colours on him. He is stunning, we're getting back in the water. Good stuff. Now that's a lovely little rat, um, 34 centimetres. And it was after losing like five or six just before that. There's a few fishermen go down there, about to go out. I think to go on mackerel fishing out in the boat. But um, yeah, we'll see if we can get one or two more.
Yeah. Into another rasp. It's a little beauty. Not as big. It's a nice one. Lovely green colours in that one. You see that with the sun, guys. A little beauty. Beautiful little ballon rat. He's no monster, he's around 30 32 centimeters. But uh, it's a standard size for a small ballon rat. They're really powerful fish, They're like turbocharged perch. So that's in there. Really cool, let's get back in the water. Back down to his home. The sea is starting to wake up now, there's a few people moving around. But uh, yeah, good fun. So we'll put on another worm. Worms are super soft, the rats are tearing them straight off the hooks. So, literally they're on it straight away. So we'll get it out. Nice, let's see if we can get another one. Maybe something a bit bigger. Yeah, another rasp. I'll lift him up. Smaller one. This one is what you call a cork wing rasp. As you can see there, it's got the colourful face. It's actually a big cork wing rasp. Might get a measure on this one. We'll check it out. See how long he is. <sighs> so he is twenty-two centimeters. Twenty-one and a half. Twenty-one and a half centimeters. Cork wing rass. Just looks really fat. Cork little cork wing. Getting back. See you there, dude. Yeah. Tiny little fish. Really small. What is it? Little small ballon rat. Little baby. Pop that hook straight out. We're getting back in the water. Yo. Whoa. It's a nice rest. Yes, it's a lovely one. Really nice rest. Ooh! Now oh guys, here he is. Look at that for a gorgeous fish. They're so cool, the camouflage they have. It's so cool. Look at that. Such a little chunk. We're getting back in the water. Good stuff. Power back down to where he's living, in between the rock and the kelps. 
so we have a few fish this morning loads of fish we're losing loads of fish they uh they tear the worm off the hook straight away i should probably be using lures but it's just so much easier with bait but um yeah good fun no oh. let's get straight back out that seems to be where the bigger ones are put the phone in the pocket before i lose it let's see if we can get a bite yeah Oh, another good one. Oh, this one's really nice. It's gonna be the biggest one today. Beauty. Look at that. For a rat. That is class. Unreal, that is. Look at the markings on them. Look at that. that. <laughs> what a chunk, we're getting back in the water. Good stuff. Back down he goes. There's a bite. Missed that one. Small fish. This is a little cork wing rat. Little small one, colourful face. Get that hook out of his mouth. Come on, buddy, let go. And back in the water. Down he goes. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice fish. It's a lovely rat. It's quite a big one. Now guys, best rest of the morning. Really nice fish, really fat. Look at the size of him. He's a beast. Get back. Now that's that last fish was an absolute beast. Sun is coming out here now. It started to heat up and uh, yeah, the tide's fully in now so we'll see if we can get one or two more.